welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to a mr bernard garrity so we are uh on another trip i decided to couldn't get enough of him after the last time and i think he probably couldn't get enough of me either i think because he was messaging me every day saying when are we going on the next trip so i said you know what we'll go on another trip so i'm back up now with bernard and we're mooching around beautiful Connemara. I just sent the drone up there, which you've probably seen from the intro, and now we're going to go on and see what else we can get. It was great the last time. Did you enjoy the last trip? I always enjoy just being out in general, so hail, rain, snow, shine, doesn't matter. Getting out was good. Um, and yeah, I think Connemara is the type of place where anything can happen at any time, so. And I'm sure there will be things that will happen. So, welcome back. Let's go. Every so often, a place emerges that etches an unforgettable memory. Welcome to Ireland's Connemara, where stunning landscapes and rich history create a magical experience. Join me as we explore the lush valleys and hidden gems. The beauty here is unmatched. But just a heads up, watch out for those midges. So, welcome to our shooting location here for our sunset. This idyllic scene, as you can see here, is one of these fishermen huts on these lakes in Connemara. And this is a location which is stunning, like I said. And that's the key point, I think, is that if you're going to locations and they're honeypot locations, they're honeypot locations because they're beautiful. But don't shy away from going there yourself because you don't have this image. And the same for me. I haven't been here before, but I want to get my shot of this location. And no better man for me to be here with, which is Bernard, who's just over here now trying to find a different composition. Because Bernard's been here a number of times before, yet he still comes back here. Why? Because you're always going to get a different shot. Now, it's ideally suited for winter because you get the winter light but from our point of view it's height of summer that's great because you can get the flatness of the water but what you also have the problem with is midges and midges are out in force here at the moment they're flying all around the camera I can see there and they're more than likely all around me as well but don't let that deter you because you know they're a temporary annoyance not as bad I don't think as mosquitoes but they're more annoying the mosquitoes because they get into your beard and such like that now Bernard has a top tip as well for that, which is if you're ever out shooting and you have a drone, have the drone hover maybe around four or five feet above your head because the downdraft from that will keep the midges away. But for me, I'm gonna get set up here with the first shot and once I do that, I'll talk you through my composition once I find it. So after my last shot there, I moved a bit further back because I wanted to have cleaner image effectively. Now there is this one stone that's there. I might end up cloning that, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I've positioned anyway within the image that I can do that if I don't really want to have it in the image. But water now as well is not totally calm, but it's calm enough. Settings are remaining exactly the same as the last shot. The light hasn't changed. And, you know, talking to Bernard earlier on there as well, and it's a good, another uh, top tip, I suppose. He's full of them today. So we'll call this the Bernard top tip show. Do you want to tell what the top tip is that you gave earlier on? One second. Yes, one sec there now. So you can see, well, to, to my left here, your right we have a bit of clearance. And if we look to my right and your left, we've got a lot of cloud, especially on the horizon. So we want to make sure when you have slow moving cloud, what way that cloud is going. And the reason being is when you're an hour, an hour and a half from sunset and you think you might have a clear horizon or a chance, I always just set my phone on a rock for five or 10 minutes, pointing in the direction of the cloud west where the sunset is. And then just, when I stop it, just look back and that five or 10 minute time lapse give me, gives me the direction the cloud is moving. So if I know the cloud this way is coming this way, I know I have a chance of a clearance on the horizon and some light. And then I know if it's coming from this way, I know I have no chance. Simple. Simple, but highly effective. Yeah, good tip. And the bonus is that you also end up with a video on your phone from the scene that you're in. So yeah, 
extra bonus tip there. So yeah, here's the next shot here now. And this sky, I think, is going to be nice and tasty. Um, although from where we are over here, the nemesis is back. But I still think it might get some nice reflected light uh, coming in this direction too. So yeah, let's see where we go. Here's the next shot. For my next composition is one, again, it's, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. This is a composition which is quite obvious and has been taken before, but I'm utilizing this walkway wall. Now there's an S-curve within it, but it is leading out of the frame. So I'm just being conscious of two things. Number one, I've come to the kind of edge of it here so that I'm getting a clean enough reflection of the house because otherwise it's going to be cut off from this rock here. But moreover as well then I'm not revealing anything on the far side so this is kind of leading me through the image back out to the left hand side and then the rocks should lead back into this house. Sky above as well actually is really nice. Um, if that catches colour I think it would be amazing. The water is kind of playing ball. There's areas here where it is pretty much flat. There are ripples a bit further on but as we're closer to here I think it is kind of working out overall. My settings at the moment are I'm at F9, uh, 125th of a second, ISO 100, and I'm at 35 mil to make sure that I can get rid of any distractions on the left-hand side here, as I mentioned a moment ago. But yeah, what a stunning spot. This is idyllic as idyllic comes. I mean, look of that for a scene. So here is the next shot now, and then we're going to get another shot as well, I think. Or actually, what I want to do, I might send the drone up and see what it looks like from the air. So I'll do that actually here. So I'll check back in after I send the drone up. Okay, so the sky is doing some interesting things. There's a bit of a rainbow here, uh, which I think I've gotten in a shot. And now I've got this boat to be able to frame up as well. So framing up the boat here with the hut, pretty much kind of what you see here in the image. Obviously not me in the image. Um, but settings at the moment, F9, 120 of a second, ISO 100. And now to the west, as you can see here, we're getting a bit of a 
I don't know, a teaser cloud. There's a bit of colour it's bearing and it might be lit from underneath, but we are facing obviously in the opposite direction for that. But we might head back up the road here. We'll see if it's going to kick off or not. If it's underlit, we'll definitely head back up the road because there's a, another house that we had passed. I think I did some drone footage at the very beginning. That could be nice as well for uh, sunset. But here already is beautiful anyway as it is. Here's the next shots. And all these shots have taken actually. Bernard is going for longer exposures. He's using... Um, an inbuilt an in ND filter in his camera. I haven't even put on my filters. I'm just taking quick shots here because I think the water is working perfectly fine. And that's the beauty of it, you know, each to their own. I mean, I'm normally a proponent of long exposures, but today I'm not doing long exposures. Now, that being said, I am going to go fly and get my um, filters and give it a go because looking at the back of his camera, it does look nice. And I must also pick up my drone, which is over here. Uh, after the footage that I had there, I just wanted to grab the shot while I had this bit of a rainbow, as you can see here in the background. But yeah, stunning, 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 stunning spot. Here's the next shot now and we'll see what else the evening brings us. So I yeah, think, I'm going to... I think this would be lovely. What? Trip Hang on one second. Um, Here. Who are, you, who are you on the phone to? No one. I, who? Oh my goodness. Is that Michael oh. Shea? What are you doing? Hang on a second. We we grew up, to, we went to school together. Ah, okay. Hi Michael. How's it going, buddy? Oh, it's pretty good. We're just trying to figure out payment for our new workshop. I was talking to Bernard and um, I wasn't sure, like, am, are the clients supposed to pay in in Guinness or like what's the how does the currency system work in Ireland I wasn't quite sure I'm happy with a thousand euros a day or five pints of Guinness a day so it's okay, probably cheaper cool. to pay a thousand euros <laughs> 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 depending on where you're getting the Guinness from if it's from the uh, if it's from like one of those bars in Dublin oh my gosh <laughs> yeah exactly all right well hang on I'm gonna I'm gonna let those two guys catch up here and organize their amazing trip yeah so they're going to be doing a trip yeah. here in ireland shame Bruce coming back to ireland and with bernard as well yeah listen i'm going to try and get a shot have you seen how beautiful this is look it is stunning so yeah nice to see michael shame bloom i'll check back in again when they're not making noises Ow. there you go The sun is about to set and we're getting some nice light actually as you can see here, nice colours behind me and in this direction here, you can see that light hitting the side of the mountain over here. It would be great actually if that was lighting up right here but in the far distance now as well we have this which is a nice glow so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the shot here, I've put the filters on now since and I'm taking some long exposures and I think they're nice but I'm going to go back and grab the drone, I'm going to send the drone up and see what that is like over there in that mountain so yeah, drone after the shot.
that was an absolutely stunning glow. Very, very short-lived. I mean, I sent the drone up. You'd have seen that footage there of the colours, but it was lighting up then right behind here. And I just got the drone back down in time to be able to get one shot as it was fading off. But it was very, very brief. But nonetheless, as well now pointing in that direction was a completely different composition. Filter as well has come off. F7.1, 120 of a second. ISO is at 200. And I think that is a nice shot as well. As you can see here, this is still stunning in this light and you know i'm really happy now to have come here to get my version of this shot and i think i managed to get a couple of nice shots anyway overall the midges now are starting to become a bit relentless they were okay for the while but now they're really starting to show their head going to finish up I think here thank you very much as always for watching be sure to tune in next Wednesday for my behind the raw where I'll talk you through one of the edit edits from one of the images from this shoot if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and also follow Bernard's channel still have to try and convince him to start vlogging but we're getting there we're getting there so yeah thanks as always Shlanga Fogu